But Eminem also, you know, he take another shot. I don't want to listen to raps that somebody else wrote. Drake. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, Drake. Niggas is hating on it. I'm seeing people talking about this just the old Eminem. It's just Eminem. It just sound like Eminem. Yo, this is what Eminem give you. And when Eminem was giving you this, when Eminem was giving you this, and he was cooking everybody, and he was rapping like this, y'all was saying he was the greatest alive, greatest ever. So when he give it to you now at a high fucking level, now, oh, it just sound like Eminem, man. Who you want him to sound like? One of the last of the time three. You know where hip hop live without the city changes. That's why I walk with a different walk, fought with a different heart, talk with a different walk. Hey yo, we got the new track with Logic featuring Eminem called Homicide. And I know I've been very critical of Eminem on my channel, so I know y'all expecting me to be crazy with y'all. But I'm always keep it 100 with y'all. So listen, before I even press play on it, Logic, Eminem, Homicide, this could be great or this could be very corny. Now, for me, both of them been known to do both. They've been both known to give me something that say, you the greatest that ever did it. You the greatest that's doing it right now. Or, what the fuck is this? You know what I mean? I don't care if you got Beyonce on it. I'm never going to listen to this song again. So, before I press play on it, I'm like, huh? So then it come on with the skit, with it, which I found out later. It's a skit between with his father and him. But it's like, hey, son, you know why you the greatest son alive? Why? Because you came out of my balls. Like, yo, I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is the this is the direction Logic and Eminem want to take this. But, yo, on some real, Logic came in on fire. Like, his first line, I'm like, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Because I was already messed up from the, the, you came out of my balls. So, I, was, I wasn't I was as tuned in as I should have been. So, I said, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me go back, let me go back. I go back. After listening to it, yo, I feel like this song gave me, it, it gave me the same feel that Kendrick verse gave me on Control. You know, they both saying, look, I'm the best that's doing it. This is what's going on. Anybody got a problem with it, take your shots. This is how I feel about this, though. I love hip-hop like this. Biggie, I come from that era. Biggie is the greatest rapper alive ever to do it to me. You know what I mean? So I say that to say, yo, Biggie is a rapper who in his raps, he always talked about being the greatest MC. Uh, KRS-One, people that come from the, the beginning stages of hip-hop, they talked about being the best and, and challenge people to verbal warfare. It don't matter. You lose, you lose, you win, you win. Look at Meek Mill. He on top right now. He lost bad. Everybody say Jay-Z lost to Ether or, or Jay-Z lost to Nas. Like, yo, he the most successful rapper ever. So, you know what I mean? It don't matter if you lose, yo, it's hip-hop. Take the fight. So, I respect it. But this is what I got to say about that. If people challenge you, are you going to respond? Because you put stuff out like this, and we need to put, you know, don't put it out there and then don't respond. Like, when Ken, no, Kendrick ain't responding to nobody. And there was a few people that came back with responses to Kendrick. Someone was dish responses. Someone was just talking to him. But he never came back. And I wish Kendrick would have did that. So, Logic, Eminem, if somebody responds to you in reference to this, because you took a lot of shots. You took a lot of shots. It's a lot of people that could take this personal. So, are you going to respond? Now, because of the way the hip-hop community is now, a lot of these shots, you could be like, yo, he talking about this person, but just as fast as you're going to say he talking about this person, I could say, no, nah, he talking about that person. Because a lot of these people that's doing the corny stuff that they talking about in this song, a lot of people doing it. So, you can't really put nobody on it, but we're going to put people on it just because we want to. You feel what I'm saying? So, Logic come in on some. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Logic come in on some. Nah, this ain't a diss to the game. It's gas to the flame. And I took that as saying, nah, I ain't saying hip-hop is dead. I'm not going in that direction, but I want to smoke. You know what I mean? That's how I took that. Then a couple lines later, he followed it with the auto-tune on the, I got bitches, I got hoes, I got red designer clothes. And that's, to me, that was similar to Kendrick taking a shot at the shit like, I don't smoke crack, I sell it. Now, listen, you know, Logic, Kendrick was taking a shot at the gangster rappers who just had the little gangster bars about selling dope in their lines saying, look, you need to rap about more. I'm better than you. And Logic doing the same thing with the, that's what this era at right now with the, I got hoes, I got clothes, like that shit. That's where, that's where we at. So he was right on point with that, but you're going to be like, oh, he was talking about the Migos because they known for the fashion. So is Travis Scott. 
Travis Scott do the same thing. So do French Montana. He just came out with stylists. So who we talking about? You know what I mean? So many people can we can put in this category. Who we talking about? Later in the song, Logic uh, say, I hit him with the do do do, then they be dead. You know, that's just the era we in where the ad libs mean more than the lyrics. Everybody making the gun sounds, even in battle rap. Everybody doing the gun sounds. So he was taking a shot at that shit. Who we talking about? Everybody do it. Migos do it. Again, try, I, we can name everybody, man. You know what I mean? So he could be he talking to everybody. I want everybody to respond. But So when I first heard it, I just had one person in my mind. I heard the one line that Drake, I mean, the one line of Eminem verse. I was like, oh, he talking about Drake right there. But then he could be talking about anybody. Then Logic hit him with the, no, nah, we ain't fucking with that. Yeah, it's a time and place. But if you ain't coming with the illicit of raps, call yourself the greatest alive, then you don't deserve to do that. Whatever, I just fucked that up. But you heard the song, so you know what line I'm talking about. Drake, in my mind, Drake is the goddamn statue of this generation of people who don't write their raps. You get what I'm saying? So every time I hear somebody who don't write their raps, somebody, I, I just think of fucking Drake, unfortunately. It's so many who don't do it. Cardi B, you know what I mean? I'm going to keep going. There's so many people that are getting ghostwriters and, and, and help. I just want to say you're talking about Drake just because, yo, this is what you, you got to own that, Drake. You got to own that. I even like the way Logic do the chicka 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 Slim Shady. He play on that. Yo, I thought that was dope because when Slim Shady was at that point in his career, he was cooking anybody. He was cooking anybody and anything. So he was saying, yo, I'm about to go back to that. Who wants, I'm, I'm on that. I'm on that type of time. So yo, it was so much deeper than just the flow and the photo. I didn't even mention the flow is crazy. I mean, them flow, uh, logic flow all through the song. And it's just saying, yo, you got to listen to it. The whole song is saying I'm more than the flow. Come, who wants to smoke? I got the gas, got the flame. So now we got Eminem verse. This is what y'all want to hear about. We got Eminem verse, yo. And Eminem verse is fire. Eminem verse is fire. So don't even, yo, listen, listen. Eminem verse. Eminem verse is so much in Eminem verse, man. It would take me forever to talk about it. Damn near every line is a double, almost triple entendre, man. Like, I am gone crazy. Like, yo, yo, the first line, what do you say? Uh, like Jay Z, the jig is up for fuckers who didn't write anything. That, yo, you know, Jay Z don't write, he just go in the booth off the top. He talking about Drake. Yeah, I mean, we go. He talking about Drake, people who don't write their rap. Yo, off the rip, off the rip, it's a double entendre. You got my attention. Then it's flow. I mean, them always got crazy flow. Then it's I'm young hove. I got hitters like Yankees. You know what I mean? That's another double entendre. Young hove. I got hitters like Yankees. Gun totes that pull triggers like crazy. Unload and leave you shot up in the rover. Your body goes limp and slumped over like a rod in a month. Lord. Uh, but he just home it. Yo, that was so much in there. You know what I mean? Your body slumped over. A-Rod being in the slump. He, he's known for, you got to know sports. He's known for being in the slump and then come out with the home run. Or he just, all he do is give you one home run and be fucking one for 99. You know what I mean? Like, you got to understand, yo, there's so much in there. Then he, that set up the Rover line for the game, Red Rover. But, yo, it was just like, yo, God damn, yo. You can't just listen to this shit once and, and then go. Ahead. A lot of people, I see y'all videos, y'all just going off reaction off one time. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. You gotta listen to this shit. You gotta listen to this shit. You know what I'm saying? What do you say? I'm bringing a bandana back and the fucking headband again and a handkerchief. I'm thinking of bringing the fucking fingerless gloves back. Yo, come on, yo, that's that chicka 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 slim shady. He talking about, yo, I'm right back there to that person. I'm back to him with the fact, yeah, I'm this is me, young shady. Let's go. Who wants smoke? This shit was dope. Niggas is hating on it. I'm seeing people talking about this just the old Eminem. It's just Eminem. It just sound like Eminem. Yo, this is what Eminem give you. And when Eminem was giving you this, when Eminem was giving you this, and he was cooking everybody, and he was rapping like this, y'all was saying he was the greatest alive, greatest ever. So when he give it to you now at a high fucking level, now, oh, it just sound like Eminem, man. Who you want him to sound like? See, now, see, you see, you see, I don't be hating. I'm sitting here defending them and them. After all my videos, y'all niggas done killed me in my videos in the comments. But see, now I'm defending them and them. If it's dope, it's dope. If it's not, I'm going to tell you about it. But Eminem also, you know, he take another shot. I don't want to listen to raps that somebody else wrote. Drake.
You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, Drake, yeah, you know I mean, again, he takes another shot right before he set up the whole, I used to let kids steal my big wheel, but now I got money. Uh, what do you say? I wiped my ass with six mil. Yo, come on. That was so much in there. If y'all don't know, see, I'm a nigga, yo. I'm petty about toilet paper. I come in your house and you got some bullshit toilet paper. Yo, I judge you. If I go in the bathroom and you got that motherfucking Walmart shit they got, yo, I judge you. You understand? You understand? I'm a nigga. I, yo, sh I need the double, triple, sub, the plus. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can't. You feel me? But listen, the six mil, that's dope. That, that's, that, that's good toilet paper for those who getting that don't know. For those I'm judging, that's dope toilet. That's the good toilet paper. So I wipe my ass with six mil. Like, I, I'm, I got good toilet paper in my shit. I'm rich. But he talking about the money, but he talking about, yo, again, it's double entendres. Yo, it's crazy. Yo, Eminem is spitting. Then he ended with big bills like a platypus. I'm like, come on, man. Come on, man. I don't know. Y'all might have thought that was corny, but I felt like, come on, man. That's some shit. Everybody ain't talking about platypuses. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't talking about platypuses. Everybody don't even know what a platypus is. You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I fuck with the nature. You get what I'm saying? You know? Shout out to the crocodile hunter. You know? But now, with all that being said, with all that being said, I would like to to hear Eminem make a dope record where he's not responding to his critics. I would like to hear him just make a dope record and this fire song and it's not him just saying, yo, I can still rap good. I can still rap good. I rap good. Y'all just not listening. I rap good. You don't understand good rap. I rap good. This was fire. And the way they did it and the way they put it together, it was dope. But I just want to hear Eminem, can you still make a dope record? That's what we want to know. Can you still make a dope record? And I believe you can. The Beyonce shit didn't happen. It didn't work, bro. But you can still do it. You can still make a dope record. And at the end of the song, he put the little skit or, the, or, or he put the little joint from the dude Chris who be on YouTube making fun of Eminem and be imitating uh, Eminem flow. And I guess he was just saying, yo, you try to say I ain't saying nothing, but I was saying all this, you know, just banning, 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 banning. Yo, I even respected the fact that he used it because that should be funny as shit, yo. I had to look that shit up, yo. He got some funny shit imitating Eminem. Yo, I, I'm, yo, so the fact that Eminem felt it funny enough and he had a sense of humor enough that he could go ahead and put it in the skit or put it in the record, I thought it was dope. Again, you just respond, responding to the critic. We just want a little bit more than that. But overall, I thought this shit was fire if i had to rate it i would give it 10 out of 10 no hate dope beat dope uh concept even the course is dope it ain't one of them repetitive it's a yo they rapping the flows the the just so much that's just hip-hop inside of this song yo it you know the logic wu-tang forever song is another one and this is another one i respect it yo eminem did his thing logic did his thing i'm your boy diesel man one of the last of a dime three You know where hip-hop live without the skinny jeans That's why I walk with a different walk Fought with a different heart Talk with a different walk